In her 39 years of life, Anna Nicole Smith had left her mark in a few different places. Coming from a poverty-stricken upbringing in small town Texas, she became a famous face in the 90s and had always dreamed of bigger and better things. A few years back, the Studio City Mansion where the Anna Nicole show was filmed sold for $1.3 million. And prior to that, Anna Nicole lived in a sprawling country estate in Texas while she was married to elderly billionaire J. Howard Marshall. In this video, we'll be checking out her one-time problem. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Anna Nicole Smith, born Vicky Lynn Hogan, was a model, actress, and TV personality who first rose to fame as a Playboy model and as 1993 Playmate of the Year. She modeled for other brands as well, including Guess and H&M, and Anna Nicole's second marriage in 1994 to 89-year-old billionaire J. Howard Marshall when she was only 26 was highly publicized. Following his death, only a year after marrying, she began a lengthy legal battle over a share of his estate, which would drag on for years to come. Anna Nicole was constantly a subject of fascination, and she even had an e-reality series about her life before that was even a thing. Despite her humble beginnings and dropping out of high school at 15, Anna Nicole had always dreamed of a glamorous life. Tragically, the model died in 2007 in a Florida hotel room from an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. Despite her too early death, Anna Nicole would leave her memory and mark for years to come, including on some of her former properties. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. And in this one, we're checking out the one-time homes of the late Anna Nicole Smith. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2017, the Texas home where Anna Nicole lived while she was married to J. Howard Marshall came up on the market for just over $2.84 million. This estate was located in Cyprus, an area which is just outside of Houston and about 25 miles from downtown. Anna Nicole kind of abandoned this home after her elderly husband passed on, reportedly leaving to California with just a suitcase in the middle of a bankruptcy at that time and leaving the estate vacant. As a result, some local high school kids vandalized it. While well, Smith further sold the home to the next owners in 1998, who then de-vandalized it, remodeled it, and expanded it. The home was an equestrian property built to maintain horses and sat on a sprawling 9.74 acres of land. Inside, the mansion boasted 6,311 square feet of space with six beds and 6.5 baths. It offers a pretty traditional look in its design and walking in, we can see there are dark wood finishes contrasted with plenty of white walls. The foyer boasts a soaring ceiling and winding staircase, which is one of two sets of stairs in the home. And nearby, there's a double height great room with a built-in fireplace and plenty of seating options. Built back in 1988 during the remodel of the mansion, it was updated with more modern touches, including other random additions like rooms like the wine storage space. There was a kitchen with white cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and features like a double oven, as well as both a formal dining room and a breakfast nook overlooking the pool located elsewhere. The kitchen opened up to a family room and there was also a separate den. Other features throughout Anna Nicole's one-time home included a games room, a home office, and four attached detached oversized garages. The bedrooms, including the spacious master suite, all followed a similar and very neutral color scheme, but they certainly had all the accommodations one would need. Aside from that wine cellar, the last owners also added a gym building, a multi-use sports courts, a putting green, and an indoor-outdoor kitchen ideal for entertaining. On the grounds of the estate, there was also a guest house with an oversized living area as well as a bonus cigar room and a second guest quarters could be found above the garage. Located out back was also the sparkling swimming pool and a pond. For horse owners, seeing as this was an equestrian property, the place was equipped with a 13 stall barn and lighted arena. 2017 marked the first time the home was for sale since Anna Nicole died in 2007. 
an even more famously known home that Anna Nicole lived at, even considered a piece of pop culture history if you will, came up for sale in 2013 and ended up selling for $1.3 million. Located in Studio City, Los Angeles, this was the very house where the star's life was documented on the Anna Nicole show. The series was one of E's first forays into reality TV long before keeping up with the Kardashians was a thing, and it lasted two seasons. Fans of the former Playboy model might recognize touches from the home when it doubled as a reality TV set, including the portrait of Anna Nicole and some girly pink bedroom decor. The star had purchased the home in her given name, Vicky Lynn Marshall, back in 2005 for $1.33 million. And upon her death in 2007, her daughter, Daniel Lynn, and her child's father, Larry Burkhead, moved into the property. The chic home sat on nearly half an acre of land and offered some great over LA views from the pool deck. Inside, the home spanned 4,700 square feet of space with five beds and 5.5 baths throughout. The estate was built in a Mediterranean style and nestled into the mountains. The high ceilings and open plan layout in the house no doubt were useful to accommodate a camera crew while Anna Nicole's life was being filmed, and we can see there were various living spaces. One living area had a wall lined with windows and double height ceilings along with a fireplace while the main foyer boasted a glam chandelier overhead and an upscale staircase. The kitchen and formal dining room were decorated in a more simple and basic fashion but no doubt had plenty of potential for any future buyer. While the kitchen looked in need of an overhaul, it also had a breakfast nook off to one side. Anna Nicole's one-time master suite had a balcony that took advantage of the panoramic views over the city, as well as a private walk-in closet and luxe bathroom. One perk of this home was that all bedrooms came with their own bathroom. One of the sleeping quarters was decorated in an all pink and girly theme, and in Nicole's favorite color. This was likely her daughter Daniel Lynn's bedroom at some point. The giant painting of the late model still hung in the entryway as a nod to Anna Nicole, while elsewhere in the house, there was even a space that was turned into a home gym. Other features included a large four car garage and the sparkling pool and spa outside overlooking the views. It said that the home was put on sale by the handlers of Anna Nicole's estate and Daniel Lynn was the beneficiary. Once the home sold, proceeds reportedly went to her daughter. So now we've looked at two of the homes of the late Anna Nicole Smith and that's gonna bring this house tour to an end. Those of you who'd watched the Anna Nicole show, did the house look familiar? What did you think of the two very different estates the model once lived in? Which was your fave? Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about her properties down in that comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!